So I once again welcome you all in the session on the herbal drug technology. In the biodynamic agriculture, we are going to discuss the pest and pest management. So let us move towards the pests and the pest management. So the first thing, uh, one should know what is mean by the pest. So uh, the pests, these are the undesired plants or the animal species that is known as the pest. In the farm, you will find some uh, undesired plants which are being uh, grown along with the crop or there are certain uh, animals are there. You can say the creatures, insects. Uh, they are going to affect the main crop and that is known as the pest. So in short, we can say the undesired plant or the animal species, it is known as the pest. The chemicals obtained from the synthetic and natural sources which are being used to control the pest in the small concentrations that is known as the pesticide. So we are using certain chemicals, we are using certain uh, uh, natural material to control the pest that is known as the pesticide. There are around approximately the five types of the pests are there which are being used for the crops or the medicinal plants and these are the fungi, viruses, weeds, insects and some non-insect pests like a rodent. So furthermore, the pests are being classified as the fungi, viruses, weeds, insects and non-insects. Non-insects like a rodent. Insects there are some insects are there, they are going to eat, for example, leaves. So furthermore, it is going to affect the main crop or the medicinal plant. Then weeds, which are undesired plant grown in the farm, that is known as the weed. Then viruses, they are going to infect the plant. Then fungi, also they are going to infect the plant. So we have to suppose to control the pest in order to increase the yield of the medicinal plant, right? So this is general introduction about the pest. Moving towards the types of the pest. So the fungi, we are not going to discuss here the general things about the bacteria, viruses or fungi. I am going to cite here the, some of the examples uh, which uh, may affect the yield of the medicinal plant or they are going to infect the, some of the crops or the medicinal plant. So the ascocyta atrophy forms a grayish white irregular spots which further causes leaf necrosis. So ascocyta atrophy, it is a fungi when it is going to infect the plant, say for example specifically the leaves, there might be chances of formation of a grayish white irregular spot which further causes the leaf necrosis. Yet another example, that is a Serpospora atrophy, causes a leaf spot in which round to angular brown spot having a chestnut colored margins are formed on both sides of the leaf. So automatically, that may lead to decrease in the efficiency of the particular product. Then Phytophthora nicotine Tiani causes Phytophthora root rot, which is a dreadful disease occurring in the Belladonna. So this is a specific example related with the Belladonna, that is the Phytophthora nicotiani causes the Phytophthora root rot, which is a dreadful disease occurring in the Belladonna and other plants. In this disease, dropping of young leaves and branches, yellowing of the older leaves and drying of whole apical portion of them. If the plant is going to be infected with a fungi like a Phytophthora nicotiani, there might be chances of the dropping of whole plant, isn't it? And it is going to be dry. Furthermore, Fusarium solani and uh, Thylium butleri together causes the damping of young seed leaves. They mainly affect the isolated branches of the roots of older plants. Furthermore, Phytophthora erythroseptica causes 
phytophthorarod disease in which the root turns black and it also causes damping of in young seedling and built in the mature plant see the image which i have shown on the slide so that you will understood how the fungal uh, fungi uh, infects the medicinal plant or the crop so mainly they are going to infect with the leaves they are going to infect with the root isn't it there might be change in the color of leaves furthermore the whole plant it is going to be drop right so this is about the fungi so the fungi which are responsible for the infection to the medicinal plant like ascocyta atrophy cirrhoscospora atrophy phytophthora nicotiani then uh, fusarium solani and pyrifrum butleri and the phytophthora erythroseptica there are so many other uh, fungi that are also there Uh, which may uh, infect the medicinal plant so this is about the fungi let us move towards the second type that is known as the virus cell so see the furthermore if you can see i have shown one image which is related with the particular virus and uh, their infection related with the leaves or or the crops so very first one i have cited that is the tobacco mosaic virus it is going to infect the leaves then cauliflower mosaic virus is there then berry yellow drop then bird blight then sugarcane mosaic virus then uh, lutaci mosaic virus then mo maize mosaic virus then peanut stunt virus and leaf curl virus so maybe all these uh, types of there are so many other viruses are there they are also going to uh in fact the medicinal plant as well as the the crops which are grown in the farm so uh, the tobacco mosaic virus then cucumber mosaic virus and tobacco ring spot virus attack the digitalis so as you know digitalis is a medicinal plant right digitalis lanata digitalis purpura and we are using the leaves of digitalis and the viruses like a tobacco mosaic virus cucumber mosaic virus and tobacco ring spot virus they are going to attack the digitalis and strains of cucumber mosaic virus attack the hyoscyamus these viruses cause the necrosis of leaves petioles and the stems of different plants belonging to family solanaceae so more specifically these viruses they are going to affect the leaves petioles and uh, stems of different plants belonging to family solanaceae viruses causes the disease symptoms on the raulfia the tobacco datura vinca and eucalyptus maybe yet another some other medicinal plants are also there which are going to be infected with the viruses like uh, raulfia then tobacco datura vinca and eucalyptus then yellow vein mosaic virus then graft transmissible virus distortion mosaic virus then rigosi leaf curl and ruga tabaxi are other viruses which are going to attack the medicinal plant right the mainly they are going to infest to the leaves of the plant and the yield of medicinal plant it is going to be affected right so this is about the virus let us move towards the insects see the image so that you will understood which types of the insects are there they are going to act as a pest in the farm mainly they are going to eat the leaves whatever the edible material which is available on the plants and crops and medicinal plants isn't it and and the furthermore the yield of the medicinal plant it is going to be decreased so the insects like uh, caphania nilagirica then uh, indomia cretaceous then plantia bridicolis and various battles attack the raulfia you may know the raulfia serpentina it is having a medicinal values 
and this plant is being attacked by the certain insects like a uh, diaphania milagirica indomia cretaceous then plantia viridicolis and some of the other battles then papilio macion and hadaphis coriandri they are going to attack the dill dill may contain the volatile oil isn't it then gonocephalum species and agrotis flammatra causes the loss of belladonna leaves then caterpillar lepidopterus larvae then cut worms then the termites bivil hessian fly aphis pyrilla grasshoppers locusts spiders ticks mites and so on these are the some of the other insects they are going to damage the plant so there are so many types of the insects are there they are going to attack to the crops and the medicinal plants so this is about the insects then the weeds so what is the weeds weed weeds which is a unwanted growth in the farm right we can say it as a as a weed that is the these are undesired plants which is known as the dreadful pest because the loss caused by them is much more than combined loss caused by the other pests and diseases because all these uh, weeds they are going to capture the nutrients from the soil whatever fertilizers given it is being captured by the these weeds and furthermore the growth of plant main plant or main crop or the medicinal plant it is going to be affected or it is going to be reduced so one should think about the control of weeds in the farm so if weeds are not controlled problem like loss of nutrient from the soil then the water the light space then increase in labor then the equipment cost low product quality problems in the marketability then the enhanced chances of attacks by the bacteria fungi viruses and the insects they are going to be increased so there are so many problems are there if weeds are present in the in the farm because they are going to create the problems like the nutrients which are being consumed by the weeds then the water also it is going to be consumed by the weeds then there might be alteration in the light to the main crop then the space which is being occupied by the weeds it is much more than that of the main crop then furthermore the labor cost it is going to be increased then uh, whatever the main crop is there its a product quality it is going to be reduced then uh, enhance the chances of furthermore if the weeds are present in the farm there might be chances of the pest like bacteria fungi viruses and insects the chances are more some allergy causing weeds like uh, ragweed mexican tea then yellow rock then parathium these are going to cause the hay fever then the poison ivy western poison oak varnish tree poison sumac these are going to cause the dermatitis then dhatura and monosperma species they are poisonous plant which grow as a weed then the corn crocal contains the cyanospore glycoside and the seed of this plant have a fatal effect so these are the some of the types of the weed and their effect if you can consider there are some uh, allergy producing weeds are there like uh, ragweed mexican tea yellow dog parathium they are they are going to cause the hay fever similarly uh, the weeds like the poison ivy western poison oak varnish tree poison sumac they are going to cause the dermatitis then dhatura it is going to be a poisonous uh, plant then the corn cockle contains the cyanospore glycoside and the seeds of this plant have the fatal effect so this is about the weeds so weeds are the undesired plant which are grown in the farm that is known as the weed so this is about the weed let us move towards 
the next type of pest that is known as the non insect pest so see the image so that uh, you will understood which are the non insect type of the pests are there which are going to affect the medicinal plants as well as the crops so these are furthermore classified as vertebrate and invertebrate in the vertebrates like rats monkeys birds rabbits hares squirrels antelopes deer pigs and so on all these are the vertebrates they are going to affect the crops as well as the medicinal plant then invertebrates like a nematode crabs snails mice and the cephalid right so these are the invertebrates so they are going to act as a non insect pest the rodent with the their sharp and gouging incisor teeth cause a huge foliage to the stored fruit drug if we are storing the fruit drug and uh, there there is a the, the rodents are which are present over there they are going to uh, cause the huge loss of the fruit drug as well as the medicinal plant their fecal matter also they are going to contaminate the fruit drug extensively right so this is about the non insect pest so here we we have finished the introduction to the pest so in this part we have discussed the introduction to the pest what are the pests what are the types of the pests we have discussed the details along with the examples of the fungi viruses weeds insects and the non so this is about the an introduction to the pests